we all love surfing. We love the aspects. You know, we love going fast and learning new turns and all that. But you know, the barrel is just so timeless. I mean, it's it's the, still we're doing. We're all chasing that. I think you know that feeling of being inside water of energy and, and you know this tunnel just comes in and you're inside it and you know it's just when you when it seems like time just really slows down in there and you, you're seeing detail and I, I don't know if it just makes you slow down or if it's just I don't know how to capture that in any way shape or form I've never felt anything like it where time really stood still for me this year was in my first heat at, at Fiji. I got a really good double up barrel and it was one of those where it, the wave was bending to where you couldn't see the, you know, like the exit. You just saw water and you just, and then I came around like a corner and it was just an amazing feeling to be in the barrel like that. You know, it just makes you go, that's everything right there. Well, Mexico, Mexico was different. I would say the highlight contest of my life for sure. From what I watched, the free surfs, the content, everything for me was just incredible. You know, it was the first time there. You go, you're hoping for fun waves and you show up and it's the best rights I've seen in my entire life. And it wasn't just for one session. What that was the amazing thing. It was days of perfect waves in ways that I've never seen before like I've seen and surfed good Kira but this was this was different they searched they found it's over <laughs> so I love it because it changes all the time there's is never you're never gonna ride the same wave twice that's what I love you know if I if I had to ride like a stationary wave I'd, I'd probably give up and stop by now I need, I need it to be like moving, inertia all the time. The only person that's new right now that I see that's like different and incredible in the barrel like that could maybe beat Kelly or Andy or Bruce is, is John John. The young ones, they'll just kind of decide what's cool. <laughs> they'll try to make their mark and do something different. The funny thing is, is I guess it's gonna be more off of the water. You'll still be looking for stuff that, you know, what isn't commonplace? What can't the kids do when they're 14 that someone that's 25 is doing? It still comes back to power, speed, and carving technique, so. Shorty is a small man with a large penis. <laughs> <laughs>